I'm Tara Oakland. This is Astrology Tarot Mastery. The easy way to master the astrology and the tarot, because we're going to present it to you in a very easy, fun way. And uh, we're going to cover some advanced topics that you've probably seen before in, in books like this one, uh, which you can't, you know, the Tarot Deciphered, uh, Advanced Tarot. So many books. Uh, we'll talk about the majors, basically all the uh, good tarot books. We'll talk about, hey, we got dates, you know, we got astrology, we got the uh, Deccan, we got the Associated Majors. That's a large portion of of the major, the minors that are covering dates, astrology, element, decan, and majors. What is all of this and how does all of this work and how can we use it to make our readings better? I gotta say, decan wheel is what we're talking about. Basically, this was created with a golden dawn. Uh, put all of the minors into a large wheel based upon the seasons and whatnot. So you can see this is horribly confusing, but we're going to break it down like MC Hammer. We're going to go over modality, date, planet, astrology, sign, degree, and the two major cars all at once. And it's going to be super easy indeed. So uh, yeah, let's go through this. But, but basically, we're going to start off on the left section. The wands, okay? Two, three, four of wands. They're grouped together. So let's break this down and look at this at a very good and intense way. So we're zooming in here to that little pie slice. So, I mean, there are 360 degrees, by the way, in a circle. And, you know, you, you carve it out into 12 signs and you get 30 degrees per and out of the 12 signs, you have three different cards that are going to be jammed into each one. Pretty simple so far. So again, let's look at the two, three, and four of wands today. That's going to be our focus. So let's go ahead and look at that and see which one goes uh, where. The two is up here at the uh, first zero to 10 degrees. You have the two. The date associated with it is March 21st to 30th, and you do have a Mars element. It is in Aries. So all three of these are in Aries, and uh, they have different dates associated with them and different uh, planets associated with them as well. So let's take a look first at the Aries element of Mars in Aries. So when you do have tarot cards, that have the astrology associations listed on them, like the Thoth or Chira Marchetti's new deck, you'll see basically Mars and Aries. So what does this mean? It means that on the deck and wheel, uh, it is this card is associated with Aries because it's in the Aries pie slice here with the 30 degrees concentrated with Aries. It is within the first 10 degrees of it. Now, there are other advanced elements to here we'll talk about later, like what is the difference between 0 and 10 degrees versus a 20 to a 30 degree or 20 to 0 degrees. Uh, what's going to be the big difference? We'll talk about that later. To now, we're going to keep it easy. Just say that we're in the Aries pie slice over here with this particular card. So when you have a minor card, it is a marriage between two majors. And the majors that we have here are the emperor, the dude on the throne, along with the tower, a crumbling, a crumbling building. So dude in a tower. So you can kind of see this immediately. We do have a dude in a tower and you'll see funny kind of, you know, wild examples of this all the time in here. This is not the first of the funny examples, but yeah. So you have the tower, which is associated with Mars, right? And then you have the emperor, which is associated with Aries. So the com combination of these is the thing that you saw on the book. So if you go to the book down here, associated majors, the emperor and the tower. So we're kind of seeing that right now, right? We have the emperor and the tower. And what that means is that the emperor is associated with Aries because all, um, all of this has, you know, elements, has, um, has a... Uh, has a plant has a sign dedicated to it, and then you have the tower, which has a planet dedicated to it. So Mars and Aries, a marriage between two majors. This is a good marriage because you do have a dude on a tower. So I think that is a very good marriage indeed. So I mean, if we're hooking up, for getting a wedding out there, you have the emperor plus a tower equals the two of wands. 
So that's a good thing to know, the associated majors. That's a good thing to know, these things. Because you have more of an element or more of a definition of what's going on here between this minor card. So this makes it pretty convenient that we kind of have a better understanding, per se, of this being a marriage between two majors and not just isolated in the minor realm. The second thing you have about this is a convenient date. Now, I'm not going to say, and I'm not going to persuade you, that every time you see this minor, it points to a date. But that is a handy piece of information. The fact that we do have something cropping up during the sort of this warm springtime feel for this particular card, that's interesting indeed. But what if they have a question on... You know, when will I meet my soulmate? Well, I mean, you know, exact date is probably a bit excessive, but maybe springtime, you know, when will I start my business up? Maybe springtime. Uh, of course, you have to uh, you have to level out all the other miners that are in your spread, but just as a general rule, it's better to have more information than less information about these particular cards. So the fact that we have a date that's associated with it is a, is a really, really good kind of thing. The last element in this wheel is going to be the modality, which in this case is a fire cardinal. If you look on Google, you'll see a cardinal, uh, a cardinal modality is attached to these. Cardinal signs are the initiators. They're found at key jumping off points on the cart wheel. You won't find these people slacking off. They're full of vigor and possess a drive and ambition that is unmistakable. So basically every sign has a modality and you can look up modalities online and see a little bit more information on those. And that's going to get you a lot of information that you otherwise would not have and uh, a lot of good information here. So, from this, what have we learned? We've learned that the Two of Wands is Mars and Aries. We've learned that when you say Mars and Aries, that means something. It means it's a particular spot on the wheel. The two, three, four have a particular spot together. Uh, they have a modality because they are Aries, and they are Aries indeed, but they have three different planets within Aries that cover this information. So, overall, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of extra information now than we did before. So let's look at this definition of the modality real quick. You won't find a cardinal person slacking off. They're full of vim, a vigor, possess a drive and ambition, enthusiasm, and a zest for life. And you sort of see this, right? You see this, the two of wands, the mastery of the domain. You see this uh, three of wands, which is a, a good looking card here. where it's sort of mastery of looking out and seeing things in the distance, and then you have, you know, sort of re uh, building a new house, new family kind of thing in here. So let's take a look at this a little bit more detail. Uh, you probably already understand this, but I'm going to hammer it in. I'm sorry. Um, we're going with the Three of Wands is the next card. And this is Sun in Aries, and you do feel like the dude is no longer sitting on the sitting on the top of the building. They're now in the sunlight. They're now looking out. They're now scanning the environment and all the waves and the ships and whatnot. You have a lot of people, a lot of things going on. And you do have the sun and the emperor, your two new major cards. So sun in Aries. Aries is still the emperor, right? You look at the little arrow coming over here. We still are on Aries because, again, the two, three, four are in a little section slice by themselves. Um, and you'll see that with the sun here is the next one. So the first one was Mars. Second one is sun. And the third one is Venus. So we're on the second one now. And the sun is obviously going to be the sun card. So sun in Aries is what you get where you get astrological associations. And the three of wands is definitely, you know, the emperor kind of looking out, scanning the environment in the sunlight. And I think that's pretty cool. So there you go. There is the next card. So let's look at these cards for springtime. And again, can I tell somebody, hey, uh, you know, you, when you get married, oh, I got a two of wands. It's definitely going to be the, uh, you know, the, it's definitely going to be March. It's definitely going to be over here. It's going to be March 21st is when you're going to get married. Yeah, I mean, you know, realistically, 
realistically, that's probably not, that's probably a little too detailed. I mean, hey, maybe if you want to go for it. But but springtime, it looks like springtime in the car. We have this beautiful springtime element here. We have a beautiful springtime. And we have sort of the culmination of springtime over here with a four. Drinking my coffee this morning. So, yeah. It looks like springtime. It feels like springtime. And I'll have another video that teaches you how to memorize this uh, quickly and easily as well. Let's look at the last card, which is Venus and Aries. Again, Venus being the Empress and Aries being the Emperor. Now, we're in a pretty stout position here, I gotta say. We're in a pretty stout position for this last little pie slice with the four. The emperor and the empress belonging together, sitting together in this four of wands is a powerful message. We do have a lot of capability here. We do have a lot of excitement here. Indeed. So there's a lot of good things happening here uh, with these two getting together. So again, Venus is going to be the Empress and Aries is going to be the Emperor. So these two combinations here, you've already seen, you already learned uh, quite a bit of stuff already. So that is, uh, that is uh, literally a fantastic deal. That is really a good deal. So let's go forth and look at the last one. Venus and Aries, the Four of Wands, the Emperor and the Empress together as our final pie slice. And it is kind of nice, right? I mean, you got the Four of Wands as the marriage of the Empress over here. Now, this is April 11th through the 20th. We're in the last 10 degrees of Aries. So if you're already a... Uh, you're already a uh, a wild a wild astrology nut like me. Then you you know you're sort of having fun here, but yeah, the emperor and the empress, four of wands. Let's look at cardinal again. Enthusiasm, zest for life. My perceive rampant energy is domineering. Energetic spirit always wins the day. So this is just a great little thing to have. So now you kind of get a little bit more of an understanding. Do I expect you to memorize the whole wheel? No, I got you. I got your solution. At the end of the video, we're going to go over where to buy this wheel. Uh, we have a couple of people that have made great posters already you can buy for pretty cheap. Uh, or you can get this one printed out. You just print it out, you put it near your tarot space, and you reference it, right? Uh, you, you just got to reference it. You don't have to memorize a thing. You just reference it. Because here it is in an easy format. Um, but again, this is available on Google. You can search for it. So we were here... And now let's wee swing over to here and get the five, six, and seven of wands. Okay, so we did the two, three, four, and now we need the swing over here to the five, six, and seven of wands. And let's take a quick look at these. The five is going to be over here at the first. Now we're in July. I mean, it's getting toasty outside. July, August, that is summertime. So we went from this nice, tepid, beautiful, you know, springtime feel to this brutal summer of July into August. So you'll see the five, six, and seven are a little more brutal summertime cards. We got the conflict of the five. We got the six with the victory lap and the seven of sort of defending ourselves. So let's look at this. The first thing that we have, we're now in Leo, by the way, in case you're curious. We went from Mars over here at like, what, seven o'clock. And then we are now at about five o'clock on the clock. And we're in Leo. And Leo's a very, you know, presentational thing. You know, you got the Leo main uh, with some of the Leos and whatnot. But we switched to modality of fixed, which is like a Taurus feel. Uh, a fixed sign, understand, is steadiness is the key. They're happy to forge ahead with a the project. There's no lack of confidence, but they're determined, reliable, and persistent. And you see this determination across here, don't we? Seven of Wands, I'm determined. I'm not backing down. I'm not giving up. I'm going to fight you if I have to. The Five, I'm determined. I'm going to whack a stick across somebody's head. The Six, I've been determined. I'm victorious. I'm not playing around anymore. I am determined. So, see, I got, I got kind of caught up in the moment there. 
Uh, but yeah, Saturn in Leo is the first thing. So again, what does it mean? That means that um, that you have Leo, which is your fixed sign over here at the five o'clock point on the wheel. You have Saturn, which is your five uh, in your five of wands here. And again, we have the July. So Saturn is going to be the world. And you have Leo, which is going to be strength card. So you're marrying strength in the world, and it's going to make a five of wands. Do you need strength uh, in order to fight the world? Absolutely. Now, as many people have pointed out, the five of wands is a show-off card. It is. Uh, you know, we're, we're having fun. It's more of a play fighting than actual trying to kill somebody. It, because there's nobody injured. And uh, if you look at the nine of wands, there are people that are injured. You look at the five pentacles. The tarot is not shy about showing injuries, but there's none here because it's more of a play fighting between, you know, youngsters. So you have uh, a youngster, something like my grandpa. But yeah, you have, you have a showing off level, right? Strength, Leo, I'm showing off. And uh, that's sort of within the five of wands over here. Six of Wands, it's going to be Strength of the Wheel of Fortune. That is Jupiter in Leo. Jupiter, the expansion planet where we're expanding, we're making it grow, we're making bigger uh, elements, bigger things happening. And the Leo, again, showing off. And you see a level of showing off here in the Six of Wands, don't we? I mean, they are there. They are there. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about consistency and day after day and, you know, getting to the next thing. And that's very much a part of what happened. You don't get a big crowd of people, a parade for your victory, unless you persisted, unless you did a wheel of fortune, right? So it's strength over a period of time. Because maybe you did one thing, but overall it's strength over a period of time. You become a hero. So everybody's cheering for you. Everybody's having a good time. You're riding in with a victory lap. So it is strength over a period of time. And you'll see this, a period of time being the wheel of fortune. Look at the last card. Mars and Leo. Again, we did the first pie slice was a five and Saturn. We did the second, which was Jupiter. And the last one with this particular pie slice of Leo is going to be, you know, the seven. Well, we got a little bit of Mars. We got Mars in Leo. We got the seven of wands. Mars is an active combat card. You do have active combat here. So it makes sense that Mars is here. Strength over the tower. I'm, I'm having to, I'm having to kind of, you know, have strength over this period of time. So things are collapsing, but I'm having to keep my strength during the collapse. And that's what you're looking at here. Keeping your strength during a collapse. Because that is the biggest thing about this car. You have to understand that. I'm not giving up. I'm not doing anything of the sort. I am going to stand my ground and I am going to make a stand here and uh, defend myself. So there you go. That is the presentation. And well, let me skip to the front again and show you again. So now when I open up, when, when you get, when you, know, when you get Tarot Decipher, right? I get this book and I open it up and I go to the majors. When I open the page of a minor and I say, yeah, two of wands dominion. I now know what, what they're talking about when they say dates. I now know what they're talking about in the astrology section. I now know the element, cardinal fire. I'm like, ah, oh, man, Tio's got a YouTube video about that. I now know the Deccan. What the heck does that mean? I know. And I know that there's associated majors with every minor card. So, hopefully you have enjoyed this. Um, uh, again, with it, you, know, you don't have to memorize it. Again, that, that wheel that I just showed you is on Google. Search for Deck and Wheel. Link in the description to it. Link in the description to uh, my buddy uh, Brendition, who uh, sells the posters. If you want a poster that's sort of laid out, it's really pretty. This person approached me emailed me they're like yo 
you know, I know you're big astrology. I, I made something. I was like, what'd you make? I was like, oh, that's fantastic. So it's pretty, pretty reasonable. It's like pretty reasonable posters. I don't know how big the po posters are, but uh, wow, they are extremely detailed. You're looking at the tree of life. You got the astrological, uh, astrolo astrology correspondences, court card associations too. He's got some good stuff. I mean, he's working hard out there. So I just want to give a shout out. If you want to pick up the posters and, uh, you know, like I said, don't memorize this. Just get a poster and hang it up next to your area where you read tarot. And after a while, you'll start picking this up as you go. Because it is good to have dates. It is good to know modalities. It is good to explain this stuff to people uh, as you're reading. You look very proficient. You look like you know a lot, and uh, people are going to appreciate the extra extra effort that you have put in here. And that is it. Please hit that like and a sub button. We'll see you next time. And did you know I have a Patreon? That's right. You get a lot of stuff for it. Not a lot of money. Okay. For five bucks, you get 20 hours of Create Your Tarot course. I teach you detailed how to draw animals, detailed how to draw digitally. I walk you through the application. I walk you through how to make it. I walk you through oil painting examples. I got uh, pastel examples. I got colored pencil. I got everything. How to draw your own tarot cards because it's a good income source i'll be honest with you that's a really good income source and if you can draw realistic animals you can draw your neighbor's dog what have you they'll pay you 60 70 100 bucks for that behind the readings every week if you're wondering why i said what i said i tell you 10 percent uh, why i said what i said in my streams I tell you exactly why, what we're looking at. I go through details. 10% off everything in my store. Hey, that's worth the five bucks alone. I mean, if you're going to buy something, right? You get your name in my tarot decks, books. You get the name in the video credits. You also get a free Lenormand digital deck and a cloth. So you can go print it out. And that is on screen now for you to look at. As well as, if you want to dump 10 bucks in, you get everything over here, plus a weekly live stream. You get an hour with me once a week in a live stream. You want to ask me a question? Hey, why did you say that? I want to help on this. I want to help on this. I'm here for you. Live stream every week. Ask me anything you want. They're all uh, archived off too, so you can watch previous ones. I teach you details, deep details. Deep details about tarot cards, how to read, what to do, etc. If you want me to do anything, I'll do what. If you want to see a magic trick, <laughs> whatever you want to see. I mean, I'm live streaming. I mean, between me and you. So ask me anything. This is private to Patreon. You also get all my digital books and audio books for ten bucks. You get all the digital books and audio books. That's a steal. That is an easy, uh, easy way to go there. Now, if you want to go twenty bucks a month. You get a monthly, a 20-minute private reading with me. That's a dollar a minute. That's extremely, extremely reasonable. All of this is available to you right now. Go to my Patreon link in the description and become a supporter. It helps me uh, make more videos. It helps me just make content that you want to see. It helps me a lot. So please, if you want to support me, I will reimburse you with a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not like you're just throwing money at me and hoping for the best. You're, you're getting things back. So I greatly appreciate your support. And thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.